Sure, I killed him. I ain't saying I didn't, am I? Sure, I killed him. The lawyers, they give me a good stiff pain, that's what they give me. Half the time, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Objection sustained, objection overruled. What's the big idea, anyhow? You ain't heard me doing any objecting, have you? Sure not. What's the idea of objecting? You got a right to know. What I say is if one bird kills another bird, well, you got a right to call him for it. That's what I say. I know all about that. I've been on the jury, too. And lawyers, don't let them fill you full of bunk. All that bull about it being red ink on the bill file. Red ink, nothing. It was blood, see? I want you to get that right, all of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of you. Six and six, that makes twelve. I figured it up often enough. Six and six makes twelve, and three is fifteen, and, and eight is twenty-five, and three is twenty-eight. Eight and carry the two. I'll uh, cut it out. Them damn figures. I can't forget them. Twenty-five years, see. Eight hours a day, except on Sundays. In July and August, half a day Saturday. One week's vacation with pay, and another week without pay if you want it. <laughs> Who the hell wants it, laying around the house listening to the wife telling you where to get off, Nicks? I only do holidays. I, I nearly forgot them. Uh, New Year's, Washington's birthday, Decoration Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, Election Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Good Friday if you want it, and if you're a Jew, Young Kipper, and the other one, I, I forget what they call it. The dirty sheenies always getting two to the other birds one. And when a holiday comes on Sunday, you get Monday off, so that's fair enough. But when the 4th of July comes on a Saturday, well, you're out of luck. On the kind of Saturday being a half a day anyhow. You get me? 25 years. I'll tell you something funny. Decoration Day and the 4th of July are always on the same day of the week. 25 years. Never missed a day and never more than five minutes late. Look at my time card if you don't believe me. 827, 829, 830, 827, 832, 832's 40. God damn them figures. They're funny things, them figures. I can't forget them. They look like people sometimes. The eight, see? Two dots for the eyes and the dots for the nose and a line. That's the mouth, see? And there's others remind you of other things, but I can't talk about them on account of there being ladies here. Oh. Sure, I killed him. Why didn't he shut up? If he'd only shut up instead of talking and talking about how sorry he was and what a good guy he was and this and that, I, I felt like saying to him, but Christ said, shut up! But I didn't have the nerve, see? I didn't have the nerve to say that to the boss. And he went on talking, saying how sorry he was, see? <coughs> he was standing right close to me, and his coat only had two buttons on it. Two and two makes four, and... Oh, damn it. And there was the bill file on the desk, right where I could touch it. It ain't right to kill a guy, I know that. When I heard all about him in the paper and about his three kids, I, I felt like a cheapskate, I tell you. And he had the kids' pictures in the paper right next to mine. And his wife, too. <laughs> Gee. Must be swell to have a wife like that. Some guy sure is lucky. And he left $50,000 just for a restroom for the girls in the store. <laughs> he was a good guy at that. 50000 That's more than twice as much as I'd make if I saved every nickel I ever made. Let's see. 25 and 25 and 25. I'll cut it out. And the ads had a, had a big black border around him. And all it said was that the store would be closed for three days on account of the boss being there. <laughs> that nearly handed me a big laugh, that did. All them floor walkers and buyers and hired muckamucks having me to thank for getting three days off. <laughs> and I hadn't ought to kill him. I ain't saying nothing about that, but I thought he was going to give me a raise, see, on account of being there 25 years. He never talked to me before. Except one morning, we happened to come in the store together, and I, I held the door open for him, and he said, thanks. And just like that, see, thanks. That was the only time he ever talked to me. 
when I seen him coming up to my desk, I didn't know where I got off. A big guy like that coming up to my desk, I, I felt like I was choking like it. I got a bad taste in my mouth like when you get up in the morning. I didn't have no right to kill him. District attorney is right about that. He read the law to you right out of the books. Killing a bird, that's wrong. But there was that girl, see? Six months they gave her. <laughs> it's a dirty trick called the cops on her like that. I, I shouldn't have done that. But what was I going to do? The, the wife wouldn't let up on me. I had to do it. She used to walk around the room in just her undershirt. See, nothing else on, just her undershirt. And they gave her six months. The last I'll ever see of her. Them birds. How do they get away with it? Just grabbing women the way you see them doing the pictures. I've seen lots I'd like to grab like that, but I ain't got the nerve. In the subway and on the street and in the store buying things. <laughs> Pretty soft of them shoe salesmen, I'll say, looking at women's legs all day. And lawyers, you give me a pain, I tell you. A pain saying the same thing over and over again. I never said I didn't tell. That ain't the same thing as being a regular murderer. But what did it do me to kill him? I didn't make nothing out of it. Answer yes or no. Yes or no, me elbow. Some questions you can't answer yes or no. Give me the ones over you guys. Do I look like a murderer, do I? I never did no harm to nobody. Ask the wife, she'll tell you. Ask anybody. I never got into trouble. But you wouldn't count that one time at the polo grounds. That was just fun like that. Everybody was yelling, kill the empire, kill the empire. Before I knew what I was doing, I fired the pop bottle. <laughs> it was just like in fun, and kind of everybody was yelling like that. The other dog calling that one a strike a mile away from the plate. Anyway, the bottle didn't hit him. When I saw the cops coming up the aisle, I, I beat it. It didn't hurt nobody. It was just fun like, see? I'm a pretty steady guy, you've got to admit that. 25 years in the same job, never missed a day. 52 weeks in a year. 52 and 52 and 52. I didn't try to run away, did I? They didn't have to look for me, did they? Where was I going to run to? I wasn't even thinking about that. Tell you what I was thinking about. How I was going to break it to the wife about being camped. <laughs> He canned me after 25 years. Did the lawyers tell you that? I forget. All that talk gives me a headache. Objection sustained, objection overruled, answer yes or no, it gives me a headache. I can't get the figures out of my head. But that's what I was thinking about, how I was going to break it to the wife about being canned. And what Miss DeVore would think when she heard about me killing him. I bet she never thought I had the nerve to do it. I'd have married her if the wife had passed out. <coughs> I'd be holding down the job yet if he hadn't a candy. And he went on talking and talking and it was the mill file right where I could reach it. You get me? I'm just a regular guy like anybody else. Like you birds now. Suppose you was me now. You might have done the same thing. That's how you ought to look at it. Suppose you was me. <clears throat> Guilty! Wait a minute. Just a minute. You don't get me right. Just give me a chance, and I'll tell you how it was. I'm all mixed up, see, on account of the lawyers and the figures in my head. But I'm going to tell you how it was. I was there 25 years, see. And I gave her six months, see.